You're going on a little bit of a breather after Game of Thrones uh, concludes next week for this season, but it looks like there's going to be a nice little palate cleanser from HBO coming up. Westworld. Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? Welcome to Westworld. No orientation. No guidebook. All our hosts are here for you. In this world, you can be whoever you want. Are you real? Well, if you can't tell, does it matter? You thought it would be a cowboy show. Well, you are wrong. Uh, so this is a sci-fi thriller, and it was originally written by uh, someone who's pretty famous for another kind of amusement park movie, uh, Michael Crichton of Jurassic Park fame. And it was a movie before in the 1970s starring Yul Brenner. though I think this show will go a little bit differently because the other version starts straight up with murder. And it looks like we're going to slowly get our way, break our way into the murder. They're also like Chuck E. Cheese robots in that version. Oh, they are? Yeah, it's like way animatronics. These are like more... <laughs> People. Like, we upped the technology on this one a lot. Yeah, it kind of, it reminds me of other um, kind of sci-fi, AI, uh, somewhat near future imaginings. Like there was Being Human, or Humans rather. Uh, Being Human is a show about ghosts and werewolves and vampires. Uh, but Humans is a show about uh, AI that looks... Um, or rather androids with AI that look exceedingly human, and then maybe are they gaining sentience? So it seems like that's what's seeping into this. Um, in the original version, what it was, was there was three amusement parks. One was Westworld, one was Roman World, and I think one was Medieval World. And something starts to go wrong, and there's lots of breakdowns, and then some people start to get straight up killed. Nothing can possibly go wrong. I'm shot. Go wrong. Raw. Go wrong. Oh my God. And it looks more like this is a, a more of a creeping, dark. Ex machina yeah, version. Yeah. Which is kind of the theme right, or the, the trend right now. I mean, you know probably better than most people that there are trends that pop culture and, uh, at large or, you know, movies and television seem to follow. Like we had a big zombie one, we had a YA dystopia. Um, and now this is what would you call this? I mean, I think it's the VR, sort of, right? I mean, it's like Ready Player One, it's mm. VR, what we're doing. I feel like it's like you get to walk in and it's, it's the holodeck from Star Trek, right? Back in the day. So I feel like it's this new sort of take on alternate places, right? Yeah. I, I feel like it's a take on what is humanity, but I haven't, all I have to guess him on this is the trailer. So it could very well not go that way as well. It looks really cool. I mean, I'm in. Anthony Hopkins doing it a show? Doing Come television. On. That's great. Uh, the show also stars James Marsden and Evan Rachel Wood uh, as Dolores Abernathy, if you watch the full version of that. Sure. It looks intriguing. Yeah. Yeah, dark. And good visuals, like the uh, the fly on her eye. Oh, I didn't like that. Was, that. that that's like a, such a little subtle, cool little thing. Yeah. To upset people on a visceral level is have something poking the eye. Because yeah, the eye would shut naturally. Oh. That means that person's not a natural. The person, person would naturally scream and cry mm -hmm. and freak out, and those would all be normal things to do. Where would you go? West world, medieval world, or Roman world? Uh... If you're going on vacation. Gladiators, you got you got the trolls and the axe people, you got Oh, that sounds more like fantasy world sure. than medieval world. They didn't have trolls in the world. You know, there's just times? orcs just wandering around, you know. They might be. Uh, I wasn't there. I don't know. I mean So I guess I always, knights. I always thought I wouldn't like to travel back in time because then I think you're like, oh, it's probably pretty racist <laughs> around here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would like this. So uh, basically YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> worse. Uh, the, you know, everyone smells. There's just poop all over the place. It just doesn't sound like a good time to me. I would love to travel to the future. Future would be cool, but yeah. that could be racist too. Could be. Or it could totally be like Star race. Trek, and it just everyone's over it. Racism. Yeah. Or Trump could be president. Or and, idiocracy. Yep. Or just shits all wrong. Mm -hmm. And then we're just afraid of water. I couldn't turn up. I couldn't pass up going back in time. But I would go. I would go as far back as I could. Like. Even to is pre medieval, medieval. No, it depends. Pre civilization. Which, yeah, I'd want to know which which era am I going because I'd want to go as I far think back. Romans are the furthest back. So I would go Romans because I feel like you'd learn more seeing the oldest time you could go to. Yeah, I guess that could be cool. 
Um, but like in the, I remember in the Westworld movie, and as they hinted in this one, like. You can have sex with anyone. You, you can, can do that any time period, right? You can, but people usually punish you for it. Uh, you know, for all the killing and, and sex. Uh, well, I think they they wouldn't know as well the further back you went, right? Then they I would don't have learned know. and made laws. Oh, okay, because of that guy, and it's like a picture <laughs> yeah, exactly. of you from exactly. the current time. Established oh, all the Jesus. awful things. <laughs> and this that's how dark. I changed history, y'all. <laughs> Butterfly effect. You're welcome. Um, audience, what do you think of the Westworld trailer and what do you expect for the show? Will it be as creepy and dark as we think or will it maybe go in a Jurassic Park direction? My voice got real high. Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.